chapter of Isaiah, and we're going to pick it up uh, from the 28th verse. If you didn't, if you weren't here for the reading, when you go home, you can read it from the 21st verse to the 31st verse, but we're going to pick it up from the 28th verse to lead us into our lessons. Um, don't let me forget, amen, those of you that have more children, I have a few more flyers here, amen, amen. that you can give. Make sure all of your kids get one, amen. Amen. And ask them to come. Amen. We're going to preach about the goodness of mothers mm. on Sunday. Amen. 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 We know what you went through. Amen. You might not think nobody know, but we know what you went through. Amen. Isaiah, the 40th chapter, and the 20th verse, and it reads on this wise Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and get weary. And the young man shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. Amen. They shall mount up on wings as eagles. Somebody know where I'm going already. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. They shall mount up on wings as eagles. Y'all didn't catch it yet. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. You know what I'm talking about, Leroy? All right. Amen. Father God, we thank you for all that you've done and all that you're doing for us right now. Right now, I ask that you would open the hearts of this and the minds of this waiting congregation, that they might receive the word that you have deposited in your servant's spirit. 
Right now, Lord, strengthen us. Lord, give us a heart of forgiveness. Let us forgive so that we might be forgiven. Lord, let us shake off all those things that might hinder us. All those burdens that so easily, as you said, beset us or keep us back. Let us shake it off. Lord, take me now and hide me behind the shadow of the cross that they might not see me. But how you blessed me with your word and how you're working in me. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, I do pray. Amen. 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 Well, the Eagles sold the house for a quarterback. I'm talking about the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they, they sold the house for a future quarterback. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what to say about them, but but normally folk uh, ask me about them because I got my little Eagles hat on or whatever. I just tell them we rebuild. Uh -huh. we, 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 we in rebuilding mode. We, we, we're getting things back together. We're getting things straightened out and sometimes uh, uh, you know it seems like you're never going to win again mm -hmm. matter of fact when you lost so many times you don't even think of the, the, the possibility of winning you know folk that 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 know that their their uh, 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 knees and their ankles are in too uh, bad a shape to run as fast as they used to they they don't even look forward to winning the race they just want to finish mm -hmm. folk that have been down for so long they don't even look forward to getting back up they just want to maintain yeah. amen. amen they just want to you just want to you done got to the point where you're not trying to get rich no more you was thinking about that when you were younger i'm going I'm going to start my own business and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do these other things. Now you just want to make sure that your social security check Amen. runs until the end of the month. Amen. Amen. And that your money don't run out. Amen. Uh, there's some folk that, that that talked about and thought about and just, just always wanted to educate themselves. They just wanted to get a degree in, in this thing or that thing or just in anything. Amen. And, 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 and you never got there, and now, you know, you done, you've learned so much stuff that it don't even bother you no more. <laughs> you found out that, that a lot of folk that, 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 that go to school don't have any, any uh, 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 common sense, amen? And with the common sense that you have, you made it this far, so you're not worried about it no more, amen? And I want to tell you today that sometimes the burdens of the world and the burdens of our responsibilities become so heavy that you just want to fly away. Yeah. Anybody ever felt like that? Yeah. You've been in this marriage for a long time and, 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 and you can't remember the last time you were really happy and you just want to fly fly away. Amen. Uh, you know, you, you just want to fly away. I mean, anybody ever been like that? I've been like that. Well, I just wished I could go out here. And Anybody see that movie, The Birdman? Uh-huh, Birdman. It won an Academy Award last year. Some of y'all didn't see it. Y'all not movie buffs like me, but it was about a guy who played a superhero uh, and he actually turned into the superhero that could fly, Birdman. And one day he just opened the window of his office and took off. <laughs> and folks thought he had killed himself, but when they looked up, he was flying. Amen? And every now and then, you just want to throw everything down in that cubicle and just walk out and fly. Amen? Just fly away. Amen? Just fly and go wherever you want to go. Amen? Wouldn't that be nice? To, uh, just You didn't need no money. You didn't need no cruise ticket. You don't need no plane ticket, but just to stretch out your wings and land. I saw a commercial the other day where folk were going on vacation, and they didn't. They just flew there like the birds. You know what I mean? Like, 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 like the geese that come around here from up in Canada. They just flew down to the Bahamas and landed on the beach, and and the vacation was on. Don't you just wish sometimes that you could fly away? From all of the troubles and all of the struggles and all of the aggravation of this world. Amen? Amen. You know, that's been the wish of men for centuries and centuries, that they could just fly. We've always, I don't know about you, but, but we've always been fascinated with flight as a species. Amen? It's something about the birds that, that, that made us think, well, if they can do it, why can't we? 
Uh, we're smarter than they are. Their brain is only about as big as a pea. Amen. Why do we fly? They fly and we can't fly. Amen. And, 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 and we, we, we study birds of the air and we tried in so many ways to copy their talents. Amen. Because, because the flight of a simple bird is just amazing. <laughs> Have you ever seen a hummingbird? <laughs> a hummingbird flies around and, and you might think at first glance that it's an insect. <laughs> and you might want to run. You might think it's a big bee or a wasp, but it's a bird. <laughs> and his wings move so fast that he can hover. He's the only bird that can hover in one place without moving. Amen. And they can go back and forward and back and forward in one place. Anybody ever seen the sparrows that fly around in the city? Sure you have. Those little brown birds are the sparrows. That's the one that God says that he takes care of. He says if he takes care of the sparrows, what are you worried about? He'll surely take care of you. Sparrows don't migrate. They don't fly anywhere. They stay here all winter long. And they survive all through the winter. You know how they survive? Off of what you throw out. Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, there's always somebody putting some seeds out. There's always somebody eating something and throwing it on the ground. And God takes care of the sparrows. And, and down through history, the great scientists of our age have made themselves wings of wax. And hurled themselves off of mountainsides, trying to mount up on wings. Amen? Amen. And, and wings have been made in every shape. They've been made out of wood. They've been made out of actual feathers. Every design imaginable. All trying just to fly. Not to fly a long way, but just to fly just a little ways. Amen? Amen. And when you look up in the sky and you watch the birds, they, they make it look so doggone easy. And don't they? I mean, you try to go and, and you try to get to that bird and he just take off. <laughs> How did he do that? Amen? Uh, you know, you ever had a bird uh, come into your house? Yes. Yeah. I used to have a cat and, and, and I had to put a bell on her neck <laughs> because every time you turn around, she would come into the house with a bird. Now, of course, she, she, that was just an instinctive thing. She didn't actually know that the bird was edible. Amen? Her instinct just told her it's moving and it's small and, and you're supposed to hunt it. So she'd come into the house with the bird in her mouth, but the bird wouldn't be dead. And once she let it go, it would start flying all around the house. And anybody that's had this happen knows that one of the most difficult things for you to do is to try to catch a bird in your house. You run around, open up all the windows, you open up all the doors, and then you try to get out a broom. And you try to get that thing, and you try to swipe it down. And every time you swipe it, it does whoop, whoop, whoop. You know what I mean? Every time you, you try to get it one way, it go the other way. Amen? And that bird won't leave until it's actually ready to leave. And the smallest, tiniest little sparrow can just stretch out his wings and latch on to the wind. And before you know it, they disappear out of sight. But yet we, with all our wisdom and all our intelligence and all our science, we can't achieve that little simple thing. We can't make no wings to fly without the aid of some kind of mechanical device. Amen? Y'all remember the Wright brothers? They were two brothers that gave us the airplane. And today, millions of people still won't get on an airplane. They still don't want to get on an airplane uh, holding on to the old belief that if God wanted us to fly, he would have gave us wings. Amen. If he wanted us to go up in the sky, he would have gave us some wings and a, and a feathery tail. Amen. So they won't get into a plane. They'll take the train. They'll take the bus. They'll even ride in the car, which is much, many times more dangerous than flying in a plane. And, and they will go that direction because of what's in their mind. For many of us, the only thing that's holding us back from flying as high as we can fly is in our own mind. Uh, you're telling yourself constantly or you're allowing yourself to hear the voices in your mind that tell you you can't. That's why you don't. Uh, it, 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 you know, I, 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 we don't have wings, but we're still fascinated with the flight of the birds. The birds of the air seem so free while we seem like we just locked down. Amen. 
the burdens of the world on our shoulder and we just can't get away from them. Amen? Amen. Every now and then, tears will roll down your eyes thinking about the trouble uh, that you have. Amen? Amen? But birds, they seem like they're so lucky. They can just reach their wings out and fly away. And it would be nice for me sometime to simply fly away and get away from this mess. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I mean, I, I deal with some nasty people, and every now and then, I don't want to deal with them. And it would be nice if I could just stretch out my wings and fly away. Some of us would like to stretch out our wings and still maintain our fingers so we can give people the, the well, anyway, you know, while we're flying off, we can look down and give them one of those fingers, amen, while we fly away and go on our way. But David said, and I think he might have been thinking along those lines, maybe not the finger thing, but the, but the other thing. He said, oh, that I had wings like a dove, but then I would fly away and I'd be at rest. Amen. I wouldn't have to deal with this mess. I wouldn't have to deal with, with these, this aggravation. I wouldn't have to deal with, with all this struggle and all this strain. Amen. If I just had wings like a dove, I could fly away. You know, one of my favorite groups, the Mighty Clouds of Joy, said to two wings to fly away. So the world can't do me no harm. Somebody remember that? But, 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 but did you know that you can fly? That you can mount up on wings. Now don't go saying Pastor Harris crazy and he told me that if I jump off this roof that I'll be able to fly. I already tried that with an umbrella when I saw Mary Poppins and it didn't work very well for a little fat kid to be jumping off the first floor window with no umbrella. Amen? But I'm not talking about literally flying, but to soar above the currents that we have, all these mess that's going on down here. We can fly. We can rise above above sadness. We can rise above pain. We can rise above misfortune. We can rise above our failures. We can rise above frustration of the world and, and we can fly so fast and so easily just like birds take flight we can fly away. Isaiah said that they that wait upon the Lord shall mount up on wings of the eagle. No, he didn't. I mean, uh, as he. Amen. Amen. That means that if we approach life with those old wax wings that melt when the heat comes, we ain't going to make it. If we try to tackle our destinies head on without God, we're going to meet a tragic fate at the bottom of that mountain. But if we let God guide us, if we let him show us how to mount up and fly away, that's a different story. You know, I, I'm not going to be long. Y'all just hang with me for a minute. Uh, uh, the text here first considers this man named Isaiah as he tries to remind the people of Israel how much power their God actually has and to renew their strength. They started getting weak along the journey. Things started to, it wasn't, the journey wasn't as easy as they thought it was going to be. Anybody relate to that? The marriage wasn't as easy as you thought it was going to be. That job wasn't as easy as you thought it was going to be. Serving and raising those kids was not as easy as you thought it would be. And they started to lose hope. So Isaiah tried to remind them of the, the, the strength of God and that he is the one that gives strength to the weak. Amen. 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 I'm going to tell you right now, you ain't going to make it without God's strength. I mean, you can try. You might think you're smart enough and you might think you're bad enough, but the world will hit you with some things that will sap you of your last bit of strength. See, some folk been through sickness, but you ain't been through a sickness that sapped you yet. Amen. Amen. You ain't been through a sickness that won't even let you talk. And it won't even let you move. <laughs> that won't y'all don't hear what I'm saying today. Well, you can't even get up and respond. And if somebody did something to you, you wouldn't be able to tell nobody about it. Amen. 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 You haven't been down as low as you can go. And you know what? No matter how weak you are, you can draw on the strength of God. Somebody listen to me today. Amen. Amen. 
See, he, he, see, his immediate concern, Isaiah I'm talking about, was to remind these people that God is able to rebuild the nation and able to restore it back to how strong it used to be. Y'all hearing me today? And if the people would obey him and just wait patiently for his divine direction instead of going off on their own ideas. Some of them want to do something else and some of them want to do these other things and some of them started mixing with other gods and they're yes, trying to find a way you know when you see somebody else doing other things sometimes you think that's the way to success some of us have been serving the lord for a long time but we happen to see a couple people that made it in some other business amen right. and so we start thinking about hey why don't we give that a try amen but i'm telling you you have to stick with the lord and be patient he will bless you i wish somebody that's been serving him for a while would give me an amen and let folk know i know what i'm talking about see on, on an individual level we're not talking about a nation now we're talking about me and you the words of isaiah come bring to mind those who depend on the lord will be renewed much like that eagle that is able to mount up on wings Amen? Amen. You know, when, when when the wings of an eagle, you see an eagle flying. Many of us around here don't see many eagles, but we see a lot of of, of hawks that are in the same family yeah. as the eagle. And when you drive down the highway and you see these birds, they somebody might say, oh, that's a buzzard. That's not a buzzard. That's a <laughs> falcon. That's a falcon or, or a hawk. Amen? Mm -hmm. And they're just going around. around. But, but an eagle is much larger than that. An eagle's wings spread out. It ain't no sparrow. An eagle's wings spread out five to six feet. Amen. And, 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 and the fascinating thing about the eagle is the way that its wings are designed. Y'all hanging with me today? See, when the eagle mounts up on wings, the inner wing flaps. Amen. Up and down. Amen. It flaps up and down. Now, you're talking about a bird that weighs a few pounds. A word, a bird that weighs five to ten pounds, and he flaps these huge wings, and he rises above the ground when he flaps his inner wings. Amen. But the eagle has outer wings. Amen. And the inner wings flap, and that takes him up. But there's some larger outer wings that stretch out like fingers. Amen. And when he moves those outer wings, he moves them in a circular motion. And the inner wing brings him up, but the outer wings propel him forward. I wish somebody wanted to learn something today. Like you row a boat, them outer wings move him forward, and the motion gets him through the air. But once he gets up in the air, once he gets up high enough, see, he's so heavy, he can't hold himself up there. But he spreads his wings out, and he stops flapping. And instead of propelling himself forward with the outer wing, he stretches him out and points him towards the sky, and he just rides the wind. You see them, they go around in circles. They don't even flap. They just chill. Chill. Going around in circles. Looking down on the ground. They ain't going nowhere. They got their wings out. And you see those four or five wings on the end just looking towards the sky. Amen. And they just riding the wings. Amen. Riding the wind and gliding on their wings. It's like an effortless thing. Amen. And when Isaiah says that those of you that weigh on the Lord are going to mount up on wings as eagles. He's trying to let you know that those who trust in the Lord are going to be able to glide above that petty stuff. You're going to be able to glide above that, 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 that little frustration that you got. You're going to be able to glide above that money problem that you have. You're going to be able to glide above that relationship problem that you have. And you're going to reach a higher plane. Somebody ought to be looking to go higher. Amen. Amen. And let me tell you something. If you're looking to go high, you're not going to do it on your own strength. The eagle can't get up that high on his own strength, but it's got to ride the wind. Am I right about it? So the, once there, you got to be able to ride whatever wind may blow. All right now. You know, some of us, All we right. just get knocked off. Any little thing happening, and we just drop our faith. All right. We ain't coming to church no more because the Lord ain't giving me the money I wanted. 
We ain't coming to church no more because this didn't work out and that didn't work out for me. But when you stretch your wings out, you got to be able to ride whatever wind it is. If it's a if it's a down wind, you got to be able to glide on that. If it's an up wing, you wind, you got to be able to go on that. And 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 let me tell you something. There there was a man named Dr. Watts, and he he wrote some 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 really good uh, hymnals and and some metered hymns. And he said, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know if thou withdraw thyself from me where will I go? You got to learn how to stretch your wings out and point point up to the sky. Amen? When you mount up on wings like eagles we rise above. Amen? You don't stay down here. See, when you, when you mount up on wings as eagles, you rise above your fear. You rise above your worry. That's why I heard him say, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? I'm not worried about nothing. I'm not even worried about any of y'all because I got wings I can mount up on. Amen? And listen, when you mount up on wings as eagles, you mount up on the wind and you rise above your burdens. Amen? Amen? That's why I hear him say, come unto me all ye who labor and all ye that are burdened and are heavy laden and I will give you rest because I done mounted up on wings. When you mount up on wings, you 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 even mount up above the head of the devil. Y'all better hear me today. I know the devil got some of y'all down because you didn't know it was going to be this much as a, of a fight if you started serving the Lord. Amen. But but the Bible says, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Strong winds and storms, for we hear him command peace be still Amen. we can rise above that thing right. Isaiah said they that wait on I'm almost done they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up on wings as eagle Amen. let me tell you one more thing about the eagle before I leave you know an eagle has an amazing talent and amazing power for rejuvenation mm -hmm. amen right. when an eagle starts to get old his he, he, the eagle sheds his old wings and they replaced by some new ones. Amen? So his ability to fly is restored. I know they, that, that you see them and they call them bald eagles, but they ain't really bald. They never go bald. As long as they live, they keep growing new wings. They keep growing new wings like, like some of us wish we could keep growing <laughs> new hair. Amen? But they keep growing new wings to take the place of the other one. So their power to fly is not diminished. So even though you might have an eagle that grew to be a hundred years, or that, that, that lived to be a hundred years old, he can still mount up on the air and stretch his wings out toward heaven and ride the winds of life. So what that tells me, it don't matter how old you are. You can be six years old. You can still mount up and trust in the Lord. You can be a hundred years old and you can still trust in the Lord and mount up on your own wings. Amen. And if you mount up on wings, when you get up there into the air, your testimony changes and you stop crying about stuff and you start saying, Lord, lift me up and let me stand. My faith on heaven's table land, a higher ground I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. See, that's how I would be if I had wings. It wouldn't be enough for me to go up 50 feet. I want to go up 100 feet. It, it wouldn't be enough for me to go up 100 feet. I want to get a little high and go up 150 feet. It wouldn't be enough for me to go up 150 feet. Next thing you know, I'm almost in outer space because I got wings. Amen. I'm trying to show off because I got wings. Amen. I'm going to try to fly as high as I can fly. Amen. Amen. Well, listen, I, I, I got to let you go. But listen, Isaiah was real specific. He was right on point in his metaphor about the eagle. Amen. He was kind of telling us what the Philadelphia Eagles going to do in the next <laughs> football season. Amen. Amen. That the Eagles were going to mount up. And the general reference, it was, but it's got a special meaning and point that he wants to bring to our mind. So I'm going to restate the verse here so you can hear it. They shall mount up on wings as eagles. All right, all right. Isaiah was careful not to suggest that we would mount up on any old wings. All right, right. But we're going to mount up on wings 
as eagles. They that wait on the Lord, you're going to mount up on some brand new wings. See, the truth of the statement, you can underline it when we think about the fact that every bird has wings, but every bird can't mount up on wings. Y'all better follow me here a minute. See, there's a lot of birds out there, but you see the ostrich is a bird. It has wings, but it can't mount up on those wings. All it can do is run around and bury its head in the sand. I'm trying to make it fun for you, but I want you to understand this. But Isaiah said they shall mount up on wings as eagles. You know, you got a penguin live up in the North Pole. They got wings, but they can't mount up on those wings. All they can do is waddle around on the ground. And, and there are a lot of church folk in here that have been waddling all around. You're supposed to be flying, but you walk. You don't walk with the Lord, so all you do is waddle. You know why? Because if you're going to walk with the Lord, you got to walk with him all the time. Before you're able to fly. Some of us want to walk with him on Sunday. But then we want to waddle over to the bar on Friday and Saturday. Yeah. But Isaiah said that they that wait on the Lord, they going to mount up on wings as eagles. You know, I know a real pretty bird called a peacock. And it's a bird, it's got wings, but the peacock don't do much flying. All you get from a peacock is a pretty tail and, and a cute little look on his face. There's a lot of folk in the church that spend all of their time worried about how they look on the outside and they ain't worried about what's on the inside but I did, didn't say that they would mount up with a pretty tail he didn't say you're going to mount up with a pretty tail and a pretty little fang on your head but he said that you're going to mount up on wings as eagles you know I like chicken I like to eat them and you know why it's so easy to eat chicken see I find it hard to eat pigeons because pigeons can fly so well but I can catch me a chicken Anybody know what I'm talking about? Because chickens can't fly that well. They got wings and turkeys can't fly that well. That's why they always find themselves in the frying pan. Now, they got wings, uh, but chickens and turkeys, they don't fly that well. Amen. They can't get that high up off the ground. All they do is spend all of their time scratching and scratching out a living and, and pecking on somebody else's scraps. But my brothers and sisters, I want you to know today that you can't get caught up trying to make a living until you forget about, excuse me, unless you forget and forget about how you live. All right. Let me say that again. You can't worry about making a living and then forget about how you live. Amen. You can't live the Christian life if everybody around you are chickens and turkeys. I better say that again. You can't live the Christian life if the only people you hang around are chickens and turkeys. Amen? God delivered you from those folks. He said in Genesis, I give you dominion over all of the creatures and the creeping things of the earth. That means that you've been delivered from them creeps. Amen. Somebody don't get that one. Somebody don't get that one. Amen. You've been delivered from why you still hanging around them creeps. You done moved to a higher plane and you still hanging around them. It's hard to soar with eagles, with eagles when you run with turkeys all day long. And Isaiah pointed us to the eagle. You know one thing about the eagle? The eagle is a lone flyer. He don't fly like the geese in a group, in a V formation. And while other birds, they go off to the north and to the south when the weather changes, the eagle stays right where he is. You might see birds in flocks going away from here when the winter time comes. But eagles don't flock. They just keep on soaring. No matter what the weather is, they just keep on soaring. Y'all gonna hear me today? And you know what? The Lord declared that the road to destruction is great. And wide is the road to the kingdom. Uh, and, and narrow is the road to the kingdom. Amen? Amen. And few people going to walk that road. Yes, sir. All right. But they that wait on the, Lord. on the Lord, you shall renew your strength. They shall mount up on wings as eagles. 
They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. I'm so glad that one day I found out how to mount up on wings as eagles. One day I got tired of hanging around with chickens and turkeys. I let them keep all the drugs. I let them keep all the sin. And I mounted up on wings as eagles. But you know what? Don't think you're going to run out of here and flap your wings. And you ain't going to need no gas no more. Because you're going to learn how to fly. But I heard a songwriter say, One glad morning when this life is over, I'm going to fly away. That's what I'm looking forward to. I'm I'm not gonna fly today. I'm not gonna fly tomorrow. I hope I don't fly next week. But one of these mornings, it won't be long. You're gonna look for me and I'll be gone. But you're gonna tell him, tell him he mounted up on his wings. He's on his way to glory. He's going to see Jesus. Jesus, the lily of the valley. I'm going up to see Jesus. I'm going higher and higher and higher. I'm giving my hand to the Lord, the only help I know. One of these mornings, no more pain. One of these mornings, no more sickness. One of these mornings, no money problems. One glad morning, when this life is over, I'm gonna fly away. But you know what? I'm doing better than the eagles. Cause eagles, they only got two wings. But I'm gonna get two wings to cover my face to cover my feet and two wings I'm gonna fly away ain't God alright save my soul out on Calvary I got my wings I'm on my way hallelujah ain't God alright I got my wings it don't matter I used to be bad but I'm alright I used to be sad but I'm all right, I used to worry, but I'm all right, I got my wings, ain't he all right, hallelujah. I'm going up to glory, see, y'all don't know me. They always talk about them pearly gates, you know. They talk about walking through the pearly gates. But I want to tell you something about me. I'm going to fly. I'm flying in the glory. I'm not walking in. I'm not running in. But I'm flying in the glory. I'm flying just like the angels. But I'm better than that. I'm flying. Just like the seraphims, I'm flying, but I'm better than that. Cause they told me that I got a song that the angels can't sing. I've been redeemed, I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Ain't he alright? Hallelujah, hallelujah. See, I, I, I'm going to let you go. The eagles, they don't worry about flying. Because they've been flying all their life. Since their mama kicked them out of the nest, they've been flying all their life. But see, you started appreciating your wings. When you've been struggling on the ground like I have for so long. When you've been down, you appreciate the wings. When you've been struggling, you appreciate the wings. When you've been sick and now you're fine. When you've been burdened and now you're fine, you appreciate the wings. And I don't know about you, but I want to praise the Lord for my wings. I don't deserve my wings. I couldn't buy my wings. But one day, out on Calvary, I heard that a man named Jesus died there, was buried for three long days, got up early Sunday morning so that I could fly away. Ain't he all right? Hallelujah. Listen, stand to your feet. I, I need to open the doors of the church, y'all.